Hey, I'm back again. I know it's been a few days since I last posted a video. Just been a little bit busy with work and all. Um, I wanted to discuss a few things. Um, I still have not been able to get a hold of a 45 watt Samsung charger to see if uh, USB-C charging works. The stores around my area, they've all been sold out. I have read a few articles on Reddit and Google that people have said where they have tried to use a 45 watt charger from Samsung and they weren't able to get it to work. So. I'm not really having high hopes for that, but if I do get a chance to try it, then I would definitely try it. Now when it comes to the S Pen, to address that, I do have an S Pen for my work tablet. It's a Galaxy Tab 6, here's the S Pen here, and unfortunately I can't get this to work. I've looked, I've tried different options, I don't know if maybe the S Pen for the Galaxy Note 10 would actually work, I'm not sure, I don't have a Note 10. Um, I will look into that further, but I don't believe that will work. I'm not 100% sure. Now I do know, on the other hand, if you happen to have a regular pen such as this, there's a little bit of fuzz on it, that this actually works. I mean, you can see that it's, you know, just for an example, let me uh, open up. I don't have internet on here right now, but we'll just open it up. And it's just like using your finger, you know, I will click on that so you can see I have no internet. So these actually work, and they work pretty well, at least this one does. I haven't had any issues with it recognizing the uh, touch input or anything like that, because this uh, laptop does come with uh, like an art kind of software, I forget what it's called, Ink, Windows Ink, it's what it is. And it does have some pictures on there that you can color in or whatever you want to do. And I did use that particular pen to just try it out and it, it worked pretty well for me. I didn't have any issues as I stated. As I said, I do not know if an S Pen for a Galaxy Note 10 or 10 Plus will work. I don't have one. I'm looking into getting one to see, but again, I don't have high hopes for that. So just a quick update. Um, I am enjoying this laptop. I have used it. Um, I've installed DaVinci Resolve. I've been messing around with that. have not had any issues with it. Um, I did have someone send me a message on there asking about music production and I believe I answered that question but I, I did see a uh, Surface Pro 7 with lower specs that someone was using for music production and it was able to handle it just fine so I don't see why this one would not be able to handle that same thing depending on the program you're using depending on what all you want to throw at it. I did have another question from someone asking if I thought this would be good for someone who's in college and in my first video I did say yes. I mean if you're going to use this for research papers, term papers, you know, if you have math homework, anything like that, definitely I recommend it. It's lightweight, it's powerful enough to handle that. Someone did else ask me did I think it would be able to handle The Sims 4. I've never played The Sims. I don't really game on uh, PC or laptops. But based on the specs that it has, yes, I do believe it will handle that and you should not have any issues. So if you have any other questions or any concerns, please feel free to comment and let me know and I will do the best that I can to answer them as soon as I can. Also, I meant to tell you, say before that I apologize for the noise. The air conditioner in this room is really loud. It's central air and heat, but it's, it's just crazy loud. So anyways, as I said, any questions, please feel free to comment.